Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Donna Lynn, and good to see you here. You know, I've been doing this for a long time, and I love seeing people improve. It just brings joy to my heart, and it enables them to do the things that they love. <laughs> what could be better? So stick with me and I'm going to show you something today that's going to work on the glutes. Now, why do we work on the glutes? Because that's what holds you up and keeps you nice and strong and helps your back so your back doesn't ache. Okay, so a really important muscle and also the largest in the body. But just stick with me and I'm going to show you our new move for today. Good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a standing leg and we're going to move the other. So I want to make sure that my standing leg is nice and sturdy. So I'm going to push my toe into the ground, kind of hold myself up that way. Good. And I'm going to take my other leg back and slide it back. Now there's a couple things you want to know when you're in this position. First, the knee and the ankle should be in a straight line. So make sure that the knee doesn't go over the toes like that. That'll hurt your knee. So if your knee is hurting when you do this, you got to pull it back. Okay? Second, your work is really in your glute right here, and that's what we're going to fo uh, focus on today. So we're going to bring that leg back. I'm going to put the weight in my heel on this front leg. I want to keep my leg, my top leg, my quad, as parallel to the floor as I can get it. Now, in order to bring it back, I'm going to just straighten this bent leg up and bring it in. Good. Now that leg in the back is just along for the ride, right? It's just going back and pulling back up. It's really not doing any work at all. Okay, and now you want to keep your abs engaged. And yet, it doesn't take very long to feel this move. <laughs> yeah, and back, and one more. Now you can keep your heel up on that back leg. Did I say one more? Uh, I lied. There you go. Good. Now you want to make sure you do it to the other side, of course. <laughs> But our nutritional tip for today is about eating, when to stop eating after, um, before bedtime. So we want to make sure that our body has a nice, enough time to digest the food and gives us a, a good response for our next morning. So if we go to bed with a lot of food on our belly, it just sits there. It doesn't really do anything. It, it's, not, it's not digesting. Uh, it's really slow. It kind of bogs the body down. So if you eat three hours before bedtime, that'll give it enough time to start digesting and moving it around, start burning those calories a little bit better, and then in the morning you'll have a nice little fast in there so your body will be really raring to go the next day. Good. I'll talk to you soon. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.